all of humanity. Amen. Wonderful, Father. Okay, next question from Jerome Chong and Ashley PJ. They're asking one similar question. This is about exorcism of Annalise Michel. If I'm not mistaken, mistaken, uh, Annalise Michel is actually Emily Rose, right? Or no? I yeah. don't know. Okay. So, what are your views on the exorcism and the messages left behind by Annalise concerning the state? of the church and practice of the faithful. Well, the thing, so you're right. So Annalise Michelle is based on uh, that comes, they made the movie, The Exorcism the movie. of Emily Rose, based on that account coming out of Germany. So she was known to be possessed. Now the danger is we shouldn't trust any messages that come from someone who was possessed because then are their messages coming from God or are they coming from the evil one from the devil and again okay. the devil always tries to sow dissension around some kernel of truth so there's always some level of truth in what the devil says because he uses that level of truth to pique our curiosity to see if then we will then rebel against God. So the messages that are left behind, I think we would have to really look at those and study those to see if they're really consistent with somebody who was possessed. Because okay, again, we need father. to make sure that the devil, remember he's a liar and the father of all lies. He's the father he's of not the lies. using these as a way to, um, Try to tear the church apart from within it goes back to what you were talking about earlier about private revelation we need mm -hmm. to make sure that the devil isn't doing that as a way to divide the church you're right okay.